today's a special day. You know, we're gonna go to the stock exchange, ring the bell. You know, let it, you know, wake everybody up today. Honestly, it's uh, it's a blessing uh, just to be there. It's happening. And, and to see everyone and just to see how they start their morning and everything. Oh, this is huge. What? Man. It only gets, see? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Wow. So this is one of our greatest little traditions because everyone who's ever uh, rung the bell uh, signs their name in our book. And they put their, they sign their signature. And someday yours is going to be worth a lot of money. So at 9.29, we're going to be ready. 9.29.30, everyone's going to start to applaud. It was amazing just to be a part of history. That's really what matters. And to be a part of that here for New York. I feel a bull market today. I feel a bull market today. Definitely one to, to definitely let my son know. And, you know, putting our names on the wall afterwards. I mean, for 230 years, they've been having that, so. Stock takeover. And the market went up. Listen, it was a bull market kind of day today. So, definitely loved it, man. Not a lot of people get to do it, and the ones that do, it's because they did a lot. So, yeah, it's what I needed. Uh, the way he throws. He hit that dude behind the back punch. That was one of the more impressive things I've watched in, in boxing. You know, you really don't see people show off in boxing that much. And to see that and someone so comfortable, it's really intriguing and exciting to watch. Um, going to the gym, to a boxing gym, you know, having fun. I think we're like five and a half weeks out, more or less. Even though we're here and I appreciate it, you know, very appreciative of the things that we're doing while we're out here, you know, um, still got to put in the work. Uh, this camp really is just uh, enhancing more of the conditioning, enhancing more of the, the things that we really know that we need as athletes. Fighting at 140, some things that I have to have to finish and working on and polishing um, stylistically. One forty has a lot of competition, but he knows what he can do. So, looking for him to uh, capture another world title. It's all about you know pushing that, pushing that movement, and how do we do it? You know, so gotta bust my ass in here in the damn gym first. <laughs> you know, blood, blood, sweat, and tears, man. <laughs> Only me and my team know what's needed, and we're gonna execute like we always do. Let's go, champ! You know, it's really just making sure that I'm healthy um, throughout the whole camp. I feel like we're in the nationals right now. We're about to fight, like, you know, five fights. Like, you know, like this is like, this is like on a Sunday, getting ready to fight on a Monday. You know what I'm saying? Then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Our adjustments for from last camp to this camp really is gonna be um, the sparring partners. You know, um, probably bringing more in. Uh, get more of that ring rust out. Focus on a little bit of small tactics that I need to do when I'm inside. So it's just small, minor um, polishes that we got to do. And that way I can shine bright like a diamond. They don't understand. He just came back. They don't understand that, you know? And look at him. You know? We always stay busy. We never sleep. You're going to tell me what he was doing today and, and look at his body, you know? We always stay busy, man. He's always running. He's always in the gym. You know, so, you know, we could fight tomorrow. God knows what he's doing for all of us. I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Sure. We're gonna see. We're gonna see everything. I mean, and you can see it, man. My son is happy, man. Can't wait to get in there, man. So, you know, the takeover is in effect. It's the take back. I'm telling you right now, Tiafimo Lopez will be back and he will come back in fashion by delivering us a spectacular knockout tonight. You guys stay focused at what's at task. You know, December 10th, you know, that's the person that's in front of me, and that's the person that we're working forward, uh, basically, to beat. Sando Martin! You know, he's a good fighter. He knows what he's doing in there. 
Ooh, nice shot there on the inside from Sander Martin. The Spaniard scores again. Right on with Martin. And he's pot shotting right now. He's, he's letting some good shots on Mikey Garcia. Definitely looking forward to see what he, you know, just putting all that in December 10th. Maybe one of the biggest upsets I can recall. Sander Martin came in here as a complete unknown. Only a domestic fighter. No significant win on his resume. No significant fight on his resume. Whereas in Mikey Garcia, you've had a guy that's frequently had a spot on pound for pound. So this would be as big an upset as it gets. He's a good fighter. He's ranked up there with top 10, so, you know, this is the fight that we wanted, and, and we're gonna go for it. What a night for Sandor Martin. Has he just beaten Mikey Garcia? Him being technical and everything, I think he has he has what it takes to make it a good fight. Overall, I think that it's gonna be a really good fight. You know, he likes to box, but he also comes forward when he needs to, so definitely for everyone, too, man. I'm really gonna enjoy it. Big right hand, he's got him hurt, Lopez, Brooklyn born, coming here to Manhattan, looking to make magic. You see him bring out the flavor, bring out the skill, all the things that he's able to do, and then all of a sudden he started landing the right shot at the right time. Lopez getting right to it. Oh, I feel great, you know, stacking up at the 140 division right now. Honestly, I feel I'm the top of the food chain when it comes to that. He says, I'm already great, I'm just back to add the EST on the end of it. He never lacks for confidence, does he? Oh, man, to be headlining Madison Square Garden at this time, man, I think it's just, uh, it's a blessing. It feels, it's its a dream come true, you know? Uh, it feels like when I won my first world title at the Garden. Comey is hurt badly. Lopez moments away from having it happen. And there it is. He has done it. Heisman Knight, for me, man, I mean, that's, that's everything to me. You know, I think that's really kind of like, what got me going into my career, into the sport, into the, into just into boxing, you know? So Heisman Night really is just, just one of those things where you don't want to miss it. On a night when just a few blocks north, the Heisman was handed out to the Boomer Sooner. What a boom from Lopez. I mean, we have different kinds from Heisman Night. The one that really tops it will have to be from 2019 when I wore the uh, Joe Burrow jersey. And all the Joe Burrow jerseys going on. Heisman Knight and a new world champion. Honestly, uh, winning my first world title at Madison Square Garden on Heisman Knight, I mean, you can't beat that. <laughs> at only 22 years old, the incredible power of Tiafimo Lopez. He does it again. I believe uh, 2023 is definitely going to be that year for us to um, make some real good numbers for uh, 140. He's dynamic. Uh, inside and outside the ring, he's polarizing. And whatever weight class Tiafima Lopez is participating in, it's better off if he's a part of it. Well, great to be back in the ring. Good to be uh, just overall entertaining everyone, you know? And I think that's really what's gonna uh, keep me motivated, keep me going uh, for the next journey. He's had to overcome a lot physically, personally, and he's had to go reinvent himself and find his, his swag again. If Tao's gonna have mm -hmm. any chance, of competing and trying to take over 140 pounds. Uh, my goal by the end of 2023 really is, oh man, to be like an eight-time world champion. I, how, I mean, probably have three belts already added on, two or three at least by the end of the 2023. You know, be unified world champion uh, in two different weight classes and just uh, keep going and moving forward. And looking to uh, hopefully anywhere that gets me to become a two-time on the world champion. There is no denying that Teofimo Lopez changes the air in the room, that whatever it is about him, the it factor, it's real. Uh, my prediction for this fight really, um, probably a late stoppage. Late stoppage, yeah. But definitely gonna be one to watch. Um, got so many ideas up in my head already, creating, um, even for the aftermath. So uh, definitely looking forward to it. Uh, for everybody, man, tune in. Live on ESPN, Heisman Night, December 10th, Madison Square Garden, live. Yes, I don't want to miss it, trust.